Hello and welcome everyone to another single session stream, this time with Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, the demo version. And uh, obviously I've played Danganronpa 1, I've played Ultra Despair Girls, I've played Danganronpa 2. I still have not watched the Danganronpa 3 anime, and I don't know why this is called V3 and not just 3. Probably would make sense if I actually watched the anime, but still haven't had that happen yet. But how is everyone doing this evening? This request comes courtesy of the Fa 56, so thank you so much for that request. Um, and uh, weirdly enough, I had to. I'm playing this off the PC because when I looked to find this game on PS5, the PSN store, nowhere there. Could not find it. Found V3, could not find its demo. But fortunately, uh, Steam had it, so we're, we're solid there. Very, very strange. Uh, honestly, got a little worried, but uh, we uh, we managed. We're okay. And, uh, yeah. How does the game sound? How do I sound? Hopefully, uh, all of it's, uh, it's all good and balanced. Get that all figured out. But how is everyone? Welcome to uh, Hisui Gooey. Um... Blake of 36, Alpha, Novoxis, Chris Struck, Gregster, Cat Evie. This weekend starts now, nice. Mito, all good, excellent. Now, from my understanding, this demo is about an hour and a half to two hours long, so uh, no, not, not a super long game by any uh, by by any means, but uh, we'll find out. Um, let's dive in. Let's see what we're in for with this demo version of Danganronpa V3, which to my understanding, is at least somewhat different uh, from the main story. So let's uh, let's dive in. I know nothing about this. In this demo, you may start by exploring the school or just skip ahead to the class trial. During the class trial, the evidence you gather while exploring will be presented as you debate. If this is your first time, it's strongly recommended that you start from the beginning. Where would you like to start playing? By the beginning. Ooh, got a jazzier version. Like a James Bond vibe. What the heck? <laughs> oh yeah, we have a whole new cast of students. <laughs> hey girl, thank you so much for the single session stream request. Uh, I will read that as soon as we get through this intro, as we get introduced to our characters, who, well, until that point, I was like, well, these guys actually seem normal-ish. <laughs> okay, that's getting a little wild. Alright, now, now we're getting our weirdos. Hey, Ultimate Magician. Good for her. Okay, what the heck? Up, oh, there's Monokuma. Amy's favorite. <laughs> oh, we got a whole rainbow of Monokumas. I wonder how this relate. I have no idea how this relates to the other uh, Danganronpa games. It's quite interesting that way. It doesn't. Wait, really? Is this its own? Is this a standalone game? Wow. That's weird. All right. Before we uh, introduce myself, <laughs> uh, Egg Rolls single session stream request. Time for, it's finally time for Derek to play Monster Hunter. Uh, just kidding. I want to request uh, what is, in my opinion, a classic. It's time to sail the Caribbean in search of family, love, and treasure with Sid Meier's for the PC. Sid Meier's Pirates for the PC, excuse me. The only caveat is that you probably need to play with a 10 key keyboard, as I don't think controllers were used around the time this was developed. Uh, fortunately, I... Are you talking about a key... Uh, a, a, 
keyboard with like a numpad on it because I'm pretty sure like I have a full keyboard here. I'm pretty sure this will do. This should be fine. Okay, yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be good then. We'll be good. Um, Master Marks, is there a chance I'll be playing the full game at a later date? Uh, hard to say. It's If we do, it's going to be a while. Uh, but let's go ahead and put Egg Roll on here and put in Sid Meier's Pirates. I don't know how to spell Meier's, sadly. I'll fix that later. <laughs> it's actually really funny looking at down this list and seeing just how many PC games have been requested. That's really funny. All right. Thank you so much, Egg Roll. M E I E R. Aha! I was right. Excellent. Yeah, I it it, it was put before some Adon's request naturally. <laughs> Um, so not much of a spoiler, but you probably noticed that Grump started a playthrough of V3 and Gunther quickly became Dan's favorite character off uh, early impressions. I have not, so just like Danganronpa 2, I, I'd like to watch their playthrough. I am not watching it until I play the game myself. I do not want to be spoiled on it in case I end up playing it. So staying away from that. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> I guess I should start by introducing myself. My, my name is Kaede Akamatsu. My last name roughly means Passionate Red Maple Tree. It doesn't really fit me, but I still like my last name. Huh, wait, who am I even talking to? I was walking my usual route to school when... Huh? Why is it so dark? Hmm? Oh, look at that! Female main character! Good on you, V3! Wonder how she'll be treated compared to oh I'm blanking her name, but uh Makoto's sister. Already creepy. Kamaru, thank you, Fa. Huh? Ultimate Where musician? Is this a classroom? Yeah, it's a classroom, alright, but I don't recognize it at all. Why was I sleeping here? Oh, are you awake? Good morning, Kaede. I recognize Makoto's voice. Hey, Blaber. How's it going? No worries, Carrot Ghost. I hope you enjoy. What the? Huh? Who are you? And how do you know my name? Well, hi, Makoto. Do we know each other? I don't remember you, though. <laughs> oh, sorry if I scared you. Let me introduce myself. My name is Makoto Naegi. I'm the ultimate lucky student. What are you doing here, Makoto? Huh? Ultimate lucky student? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a student of th at this academy. Every year they choose one student in the whole country by lottery, and they attend this academy as the ultimate lucky student. I see. Only one student in the entire country? That's amazing. You must be really lucky. Hmm, I didn't know luck could be considered an ultimate talent. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. And I suppose I'm your upperclassman. Yeah. Nice to meet you again, Ultimate Pianist, Kaede. Huh? What? You're my upperclassman. Oh, I'm very sorry, Mr. Makoto. I thought... <laughs> uh, don't worry about that. No need for the mister. Huh? Wait, now that I think about it, I haven't even introduced myself yet. How did you know I was the Ultimate Pianist? So, Va, Fa, so Makoto in the demo makes this non-canon. The devs just wanted to have fun with the non-canonicity. Ah, I see. So, basically what we're seeing in here is not exactly what we'll see in the main, in the main game. That, yeah. That makes sense. Um, so, the thing about this uh, soy sauce Asian, this is a single session stream. Um, this, I'm only playing the demo and we're not going to be starting a, uh, we're not going to be starting a V3 playthrough. This is just Fa's request for me to play something quick, get a taste of it, and maybe some point we'll play, so, uh, play the full game, but it's going to be a while if that, if it does happen. Uh, oh, information about the new students is public record. I just looked at that. Um. New students? I thought, I already attend a high school though. 
Hey, Makoto, where are we? What is this academy? Hey. Maybe it's best to just show you. Could you try checking that desk? Oh, thank you. That desk? Hey there, I'm sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Well, I can't explain that, but I can give you bas a basic explanation of the controls. Use the left stick to control the reticle on the screen. When you have a target in your sights, press the A button to investigate it. The right stick controls your view. Get a good look at your surroundings. You can also press the RB button to smack up to smack objects around. What the heck? Who knows? You might find something amazing. You can also always press the LB's button to return objects to original position, so relax. However, not, object, not every object is able to be moved. Thank you for understanding. If you press the Y button, a mysterious investigative power will, will activate. Sorry, I know there's a lot of information, but if you get any, forget anything, you can click the uh, start button to view the controls. Investigate this place thoroughly. That's how the progress you progress the story, you know? Well, Blackbeard. Blackboard's certainly different. Whoops. I can see moss outside the window, but there's all there's. <coughs> Excuse me. But there's barbed bar wire on them. Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? That's less imposing than usual. Just an ordinary locker. I don't know what else to expect from a locker. Hey, Makoto, what is this academy? Hmm. Maybe it's best to just show you. Could you try checking that desk? That desk? Is this a monitor? Nothing's on display. This definitely does not feel like a school. Hmm. Is this a blackboard? It's weird, not weird to see a blackboard in a school. This blackboard is also an LCD screen. That's something you don't see every day. I was resting my head on this desk when I woke up. Ooh, I drooled on it a little. I need to clean that later. So on this desk, there's a letter. If you want to progress the story, come to the gym. But please be careful. There are other people wandering around. If you talk to them, you'll end up having to listen to their having to listen to their introductions. Deja vu. I've just been in this place before. Uh, sorry, there's no time for that right now. Anyway, come to the gym. Seriously, please. Seriously, please. What do they mean by please? I feel like this is a prank, but I wonder what's at the gym, and who are these other people? I checked my desk like I was told, but I'm even more confused now. Hey, hey, Makoto, does this mean there are other people in this academy besides us? Yeah. You aren't the only new student. Everyone's waiting for us outside. It might be good to greet everyone before we head over to the gym. Of course, if you wanted to, you could go straight there. It's up to you. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Wait, I'm a new student? What does that mean? Jeez, why is this happening? What the hell is this academy? Interesting for our protagonist to actually have their uh, talent be told right off the bat. Hmm. You can move through the hallway with your left stick. If you hold down the LB button while moving, you can run. You can also look around with the right stick. Why is the large map? What a convenient world this has become. Well then, off you go. Find your classmates. Look at that mini map. Chill. All right, first up, Rantaro Amami. Hey. Oh, hey there. You guys got kidna get kidnapped too? Well, you both look all right. That's good. Situation could be better though. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Hey. hey, let me ask you something. I just noticed that um, a lot of uh, Project Eden's gardens uh, aesthetics actually took, like the character showing up in the bottom while we talk, um, or while they talk, uh, is very akin to the Project Eden's garden, which I guess makes sense. 
Uh, let's see. Let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? I don't really remember, but maybe Makoto knows? He seems to be a student of this academy, too. Oh, is that right? No. Yes, but even I don't fully understand how I got here. Huh? Uh, really? So you don't remember how you got here, either? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Huh? Everyone? No. I asked the others, too. They all said they don't remember. So the others don't remember, either. You got me. It's like we all have amnesia or something. I guess so. Wait, amnesia is a stretch. We're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll, we'll remember eventually. No. Sure, it could be group hypnosis, maybe brainwashing. <laughs> In any case, I hope I hope we remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. Mm. The outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? To tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own ta talent. What? You got me. Phew, I'm in trouble. I know I must be some kind of ultimate. Well, okay, it's interesting that somebody else is the one that forgot their ultimate talent. I just don't remember. Um, is that true? Well, yeah. Of course it is, but then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh. oh, I never told you my name, did I? My name is Rantaro Amon. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment. But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. I swear that voice is familiar, but I don't... I can't quite place it. That's right! Oh, Makoto, you saw the documents about all the incoming freshmen, didn't you? Did you happen to see what Rentaro's ta talent is? Well, in the document I received, it didn't say anything about Rentaro. Huh? Uh, really? <laughs> then maybe I'm here by mistake! To be honest, I don't remember anything about being a freshman, either. What? No, that's not true. You're an ultimate student, without a doubt. Hmm, you sound awfully, yeah. sh awfully sure. Well, it's not so strange that you weren't on the document. It only contained public information. Some ultimates don't want their talents known so known so openly. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. One day your talent will become clear. That's true. <laughs> well, I'll take it. For someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Is it weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent? Huh? What? Looking forward. You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ult ultimate I am. <laughs> anyway, it'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. I thought it was Johnny Young Bosch. I, it was just him doing his deeper voice. That's funny because he was our protag in the last game. Stop that. We'll escape soon. You really think it's going to be that easy? Huh? Uh, what do you mean? No. Nothing. Just a feeling. <laughs> Don't worry about it, alright? Kaede's Erica Harla at you? Ah, that makes sense. I thought he would be a pretty chill guy to talk to. I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Next up is Gonta Kokuhara. I believe it was said that this is Dan's favorite new character. Yeah, that's a neat thing about V3 they did just for the dub. All the characters are voiced by VAs who's been part of the series. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, this guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Um, excuse me. Hmm? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Huh? Thank you. Sorry. Oh, sorry for scaring. Um. Gonta scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gonta when first me when meeting for first time. Gonta gentleman. So, like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Yeah. Um. Thank you for being so polite. Oh, right around got pecans. Glad you're enjoying them. Gonta shares the VA of your least favorite character, Hero. Oh gosh. Well, this thing looks like a better character than the Hero, at least so far. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh, oh right. Gonta may need to make introduction. Um, um, Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Gonta want to become gentleman. Becoming true gentleman, Gonta's goal. So he raised like Tarzan? Oh, so you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. Really? Thank you. Oh, you're actually pretty nice. Silly me for being so scared at first. I see, because Gonta's scary looking, right? Oh, sorry, that's not what I... No, it's, it's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta called scary since he was a kid. Since you were a kid, huh? By the way, you said you're an entomologist, right? What's... You like bugs too? Huh? Huh? Bugs? Well... You hate bugs? Huh? Wait, what? You hate bugs? 
No, of course not. I don't hate them. I love them. Thank goodness. Oh, okay, that's good. No bad person likes bugs. Um, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Even if you didn't like bugs, I wouldn't want to break that news to Ganta. To be honest, I don't really like bugs, but I should keep that a secret. That is a scary bug catcher. What the? <laughs> Hajime, what are you doing here? I wonder if that person's an ultimate student. I should go ask. Huh? Oh, hey, Makoto. Something wrong? Yeah. Hajime, this is Kaede Akamatsu, the ultimate pianist. He's also your upperclassman, ca Kaede. Oh, he's another upperclassman? I better turn on the charm then. Um, um I'm Kaede Akamatsu. Nice to meet you, sir. My name is Hajime Hinata. I think I'm a grade ahead of you. But either way, nice to meet you. <laughs> another ultimate, like, uh... You think you're a great ahead? What do you mean by that? Yeah. Well, I don't really have an ultimate talent like the rest of you here. Huh? huh? You're not an ultimate. <laughs> well, Hajime, we have seniority, but she's the protagonist this time around. <laughs> protagonist? Right. Oh, well, if that's the case, then I guess you are an underclassman of mine. Feel free to talk to me if you've got any problems, Kaede. Uh, thank you very much. I thought only ultimate students would gather here, but I guess that's not the case. Also, what do they mean by protagonist? Boy, they really are just having fun with it. Angie Yonaga. Yahoo! Reminds me of Swimmer Girl. Uh, okay, since he voiced two characters in the demo, he decided to do Hajime a bit higher pitched. I see. Yaha, how are you? My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. I did not expect the artist. I... Kitty face. The god of my island, Achua, has always, uh, God bless you, is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Oh, well, she's certainly devout. Um, do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh... Mm, I do both. I draw drawings and I sculpt sculptures. But Achua is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. So how divine. I see. I see. That's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course. In return, will you make an offering? Huh? An offering? Uh... Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. But, but... Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint or two of your blood. Don't worry. Sorry. Um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I don't know if she's friendly or not, but she's not easy to approach. The monitor. Okay, there's the gym. Two on the first floor, I think it was there too. So just... Okay. I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, he tends to do that when he has multiple characters. That makes, I mean, it makes sense. Don't want to have too many characters. Sounding the same. Just gonna adjust them on the mic a bit. Oh boy, we, oh boy, we have all kinds. Okay, I'm not walking in first person anymore. I am Hirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my service. So, is she an assassin? Because she has like a bullet hole design in her dress. Wow, the ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Even among the new students, Kurumi has a reputa reputation. She's clear-headed, good at sports, an excellent student, and a maid as well. 
In fact, she's so perfect it said that she can complete any request. What? She's that amazing? Please, you are exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received a request to, annihil to annihilate a rival nation, but as it was impossible, I, re I rejected it. But being requested to do that is pretty impressive on its own. Oh god, she's like the she's like the maid in Black Lagoon. Same VA as Yoko, wow. Uh, rumor has it she was also a bodyguard for heads of state. I have only been employed as a maid, not as a body not a bodyguard. But you've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. She's how I imagine the ultimate maid to be. Not only is she talented, but she's composed. Oh, he's the ultimate te tennis pro. What the? That's an old story. Yomahoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. Oh, this is like, oh, uh, this is the, it's been too long. The guy with the hamsters. This is the same guy that had, uh, had all the hamsters. <laughs> Gundam, that's it. What in the hell? <laughs> that is the freakiest character design. I've seen you in a newspaper before, I think. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia? Uh -huh. You took down a mafia by yourself? Using his steel tennis ball, he blew a hole through their heads one by one. What the hell? Really? Hmm, so you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the of the loser before you who used his talent to kill? But why would you throw away your future like that? Because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? See, I saw this guy. I was like, oh, he's going to be like the pervert from the last game. No. no, it's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. Anyway, I'm warning you. It's a dangerous to just walk up to a killer like me. As he said that, he turned his back to us. I do like the fact they have the, all the th protagonists on here. The front of this door has my portrait. No, not just mine, Makoto and Hajime's portraits are on this door too. What does this mean? I should open the door and find out. Oh, we can actually go inside. Oh, or not. Nope, won't open. Guess it's locked. This must be the dormitory for the new students. Really an observation, Makoto. You know? Um, what's your name? Oh, my name is Tsumuki Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. That is not a design I would have expected for ultimate cosplayer. Uh, also, voice of the nurse, um, from the uh, from the, la the the ultimate nurse from the last game. A cosplayer? I guess. Mikan, that's it. Are you surprised? I get that a lot since I'm so plain. I, I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost pheromonal scent about you. What? I see. I bet anyone who looks at your body can tell that your pheromones are off the charts. What the hell are you talking about, Kayede? Uh -huh. Um, I don't really like being watched by people. Actually. I just like making cosplay. It's, I'm fine with others wearing them. But ah, okay. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. You're right. I'd rather wear my outfits myself, uh, with love, than give them to such people. Mm. Wow, you're pretty intense. Oh. Makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. Same. Oh, well, of course the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. Yeah. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at the zoo. Mm. That's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know? Any others? Nope. My friend cosplayed her and my sister dressed up as Chiaki. Oh, that's funny. She's also Mercedes. Oh my gosh.
So back inside of school, but a very different vibe with all of everything over overrun. This is the boys' bathroom, right? I can't go in there. I'll just wait here. I feel like I made this situation awkward. Oh, this song track is just chill as all get out. I love it. So I know I should probably talk to her, but I feel like I'm just stalling. Hey, what are you looking for? Oh, Rob Harley! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome everyone! Uh, we are just playing the demo for Danganronpa V3, so you don't really have, to really have to worry about spoilers or anything like that. What were you, all of you playing? Ah, more Kingdom Hearts! Excellent! How's that going? Kingdom Hearts 1. I was his guide. <laughs> Ooh, finally beat Cerberus and got through the Tarzan world. That's good progress. That's good progress, Rob. I think that up and I think you're pretty clear on difficulty up until you maybe reach uh, Ursula. Wow, you're going in a very different order if you're not if you're only just doing Wonderland now. Wonderland's always my first one. Weird. Anyway, we're just meeting all this... Oh, we got lost. Oh, you thought you had done Wonderland. Oh, no. Oh, no wonder... No wonder Cerberus was so hard. Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're, we're just in the process of meeting all the students right now. Um, talking to everybody. So let's see what she's this girl's looking for. All right. Uh, welcome. About to get filthy language up in here. Don't sneak up on me, bitch! <laughs> I literally just met you, and you've already called me a bitch. Hey, hey your vulgar language is, language is uncalled for. Just who are you, anyway? Huh, seriously? You don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history! I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Mui Ruma! Recognize that voice. Also, yeah, she definitely has the design, the same design as that inventor girl from My Hero Academia. Oh, no worries, Rob. Enjoy the shower. That's right, Akane. Wendy Lee. Wendy Lee. Um, I've never heard of you. So, what kind of things do you invent? I make all kinds of gadgets. One that lets you type while you sleep, read while you sleep. Even ones that even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Why does everything involve sleeping? Sure. I was inspired after I realized how much time people wasted on sleep. <laughs> Though this one time I invented these really stupid eye drop contact lenses as a gag. Huh? Wait, really? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. <laughs> Psh, your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep, so it was a failure, just like you. I signed the patents right over to some to some the patent rights over to some company and never looked back. That seems like a waste. It's way better than your do your do stuff while you're sleeping inventions. All right then. Yeah, she invented Pokemon Sleep. Scorpina, Alpha, and Little TK. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Alpha, she was Alpha doing in space. Oh, I see. Shuichi. Hey. hey, you a freshman in this academy too? Okay. Uh, yes, but I don't remember much, but it appears that is the case. Which means you have an ultimate talent as well, right? I'm Shuichi I'm... Saihara. They call me the ultimate detective, but... Oh, we got another ultimate detective. <laughs> Interesting. Huh? What? You're a detective? That's amazing. No. Uh, no, I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that I came across, and now people call me that. No. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Yeah, that's 
Oh yeah, my name is Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you, Shuichi. Nice to meet you, too. A detective, huh? He doesn't look that reliable, but maybe I can talk to him if I have a problem. Seems like we have an interesting cast so far. What in the world? Oh, he was, uh, Shuichi used to share the same Leo uh, voice as Leon. Oh, wow. What is it? Uh, you wonder, who is this? Yeah, shall, I shall make that clear first. My name is Karekio Shinguchi. I am called the ultimate anthropologist. There's our pervert cook. What an interesting design for an anthropologist. Corey Kyo? Anthropologist? Oh. Please, call me Kyo. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? I see. Uh, okay, sure. Anthropology is... Anthropology studies customs, legends, folktales, songs, and much more. There may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. For example, certain aspects of birth that of for example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year or New Year celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these throughout rigorous and through rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I sort of get it, but not really. But it sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's correct. Well, of course it's fun. It's a, it is a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Huh? What? I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. This guy looks like a creep, and it turns out he is one too. We got some freaks in this lineup this year uh, for this set. <laughs> There's our ultimate magician. Kaito. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. Astronaut. Hi, uh... <laughs> Hi, Kyle Bear. Gohan, Ryu, Fat Gum, just the list goes on. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Mm. Yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, not just anyone can get up there. Oh yeah, Eisen too. Thank you, Colton. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. I see. Oh, I see. You're so you're still a trainee. But, you know. but I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? Huh? Then how did it, how did you take the exam? So... I had a friend who was crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. Oh, That's illegal. Yeah. yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in pretty deep shit. But the people up top let me in since I did so well on the exam. Jeez. That's reckless. Got it. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. No way I can wait until after college. I want to get to space as fast as I can. He sure is energetic. Seems like a neat character. Tenko uh, Chabashira. Hey Ultimate Judo? I must be prepared for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. I will protect them myself with Neo Ai Ai Aikido. Huh? A Aikido? Then you're... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I, I... Kido Chabashira. The ultimate Aikido master. I don't recognize her. Oh, I always imagine Aikido Masters to be huge, burly guys, but you're so cute. C cute? Uh, stop it. I'm I'm not cute. My face crinkles when I suck down a shake, and I when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. Oh, wait. Buki the Rocker from 2? Oh my god, that's funny. That's that's such a different character. Uh, I'm see, but I think you're cute. Right, Makoto? What? Uh... Don't answer. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, 
they found a way. Wow. That's, uh, that's quite the face. Don't answer that. What, what's the matter? Your face just went blank all of a sudden. I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. Degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around them? Yes. It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. Yeah. You're right, that is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. By the way, what is this Neo Aikido that you mentioned? That's right. Neo Aikido is a, an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So your Aikido is all self-taught. Honestly, she reminds me of... Um, DGC, how's, Mak how's uh, Makoto here? It's completely non-canon since this is a demo. Uh, oh, we got rules up here. Um, honestly, the Aikido girl kind of reminds me of, since it's supposed to be big burly men, isn't there a character in King of Fighters who she looks dainty and petite, uh, but she actually is a sumo, like uses a sumo wrestling style like uh, E Honda? Dining hall rules. Feel free to eat anything you like. Clean up after yourself. The dining hall is locked down at nighttime. Nighttime, so it's closed at night? Yes. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's just say hi. Nothing too major. Prepare to be amazed. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeto, the ultimate maid. She reminds me of uh, Susie from uh, Little Witch Academia. <laughs> but I love the hat. But I'm officially called the ultimate magician. What the heck? I see. Chiakis, yeah, it makes sense. Oh, so you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. I mean, that makes sense, though, since magic doesn't exist. Magic does exist. Huh? Because I'm a mage. You're just a magician, right? No. Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I'm actually a mage. Huh? Just a ruse? A group trying to hide magic's existence from the world labeled my magic as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. But I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. Um, there, there. Don't be sad. Well, could, you could show us your magic. Then we would believe you. That's right. Oh, that's right. Help us out with your magic. Take us back to when we originally... Magic isn't all powerful. I can only do so much. Um, I see. Then what can you do? You're right. I can choose the card you picked, pull out coins, and release doves. Yeah, if I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Those are just ordinary magic tricks. Oh boy. I've only played a little bit of Atelier uh, Ryza, um, Jace. Never touched, and then only a little bit of Hyperdimension, the first Hyperdimension that Neptunia, but I didn't commit to you either of them, like fully. I want to get back to at least Ryza, because I was having fun with that. But that's now on the request section, so gotta wait. Hey, hey wait for me! Please stop! Please stop! Don't come any closer. That boy in white is chasing that other boy in the funny clothes. What's happening here? Should I be concerned that the this other kid, like, or not concerned, but intrigued? What the hell, Kai one Kaibo? He also has a protagonist uh, hair sticking up on end. Ultimate sideboard, yeah. What a huge warehouse. You can find anything you want in here. It's like a high jump bar for track and field. Is the place also a PC PE storage room? An RC helicopter. What's this doing in a square house school warehouse? Don't come any closer. Come on, wait up. 
Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? What? A robot? What is it? What is it? Are you know the robophobe? That's enough. I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Hey. Wait. Are you a robot? Are you for reals a robot? Please stop. I'm not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kibo. Kibo. Ultimate robot. Ultimate robot. That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Oh, um, go ahead. I'm Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. Ultimate supreme leader? What the? A robot and supreme leader. Neither of them make any sense. By the way, I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not funny. Right? Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me. I have studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Um, Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student just like you. Um, You're a high school student? Yeah. I was created by Professor Ita Itabashi the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed in me a strong AI capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why, at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But, but the professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things until finally he enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now I stand before you all. See, I'm just like everyone else. Hey, hey do robots have dicks? Hey. Please do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. Wow. I mean, just being a robot is probably enough to claim the title of Ultimate Robot. Hey, Kokichi, I don't really understand your Ultimate Supreme Leader talent. Oh, I'm just the Supreme Leader of an evil secret organization. That's all. Huh? What? Um... I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? Seriously? The Supreme Leader of an evil secret organization? Because I'm a liar. Who knows? I am a liar after all. Huh? But, so you're... You were lying just now? It's true. Well, I mean, I'm the supreme leader of the evil evil secret organization. That part was true. Jeez. So, were you lying or not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling I'm not telling you. Ultimate supreme leader, huh? It's the first time first time It's the first time I've met anyone with a talent like yours. Right. Oh yeah, you saw the documents about all the incoming freshmen, right, Makoto? Do you know if Kokichi is telling the truth or not? No. Well, the information on that document may not be complete. <laughs> you have no idea how many crazy things I've done, do you? It's true. If you knew, my subordinates would have eliminated you a long time ago, Makoto. Nice. Now you know where the inspiration for Eve's tally came from. No kidding. A lot of things are kind of clicking into place with uh, uh, Eden's garden all of a sudden. Hey, everything he said so far has sounded like a lie, so that's got to be a lie too, right? Just leave him alone. Everything he's been saying has been a lie. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> well, of course you're not a suspicious person. Because we robots aren't people, silly. You mad? Are you mad? Are you going to hit me with a rocket punch? Can't. I don't have that function. Oh man, you're boring. What a weird guy. He's like a mischievous little kid. This is no time to be joking around, unless he really is an evil supreme leader. No, I think he's just a jerk. There's a school store, but can't use that. Alright, well, she looks normal. Something's definitely wrong. Maki Harakawa, ultimate child caregiver. Oh! Ultimate babysitter. I see. Ultimate child caregiver, huh? <sighs> Surprised? I don't look like someone who'd like kids, do I? Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. But if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. Mm -hmm. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much, hey. then they can probably tell how loving you really are, Maki. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. It wasn't my choice to begin with. That's Bernie's VA for Maki? That's funny. Huh? What do you mean by that? Nothing. It's just, I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? Let's see. Kaede, as far as I know, that's all the students at this school. I see, then maybe we should go to the gym. Yeah, although I get why you might be a little hesitant. I'm fine. Let's go. We won't find out what's going on if we just wander around aimlessly. Alright, that's our cast. What a group. I did what the letter said and went to the gym. I wonder what's in here. Hey, Makoto, are you ready to go in? Sorry, but this is where we part ways. I can't go past this point. Because you're the protagonist now, Kaede. Huh? What? That's... From here on, you're the one who's going to learn about the situation we're in. What? You might feel despair, but I don't want you to throw away hope. Yeah. Even if there's despair on the horizon, remember that Hajime and I are here to help. Well, see ya. Let's meet up later. Huh? What? Wait, Makoto. He just left all of a sudden. What's gotten into him? Protagonist? Hope? Despair? What does any of that mean? Jeez, I'm having second thoughts about going in the gym. Check profiles? Let's see. So there we go. We got Kaede, Kaede, Kurumi, Himiko, Maki, Tenko, Samug, uh, Samugi, Eva Foam, <laughs> wow, uh, Anji, Miyu, Shuichi, Kaito, Ryoma, Rontaro, Ganta, Kokichi, Korakio, and Kibo. Dislikes vending machines. Well, there's no point in stand just standing around. I have to face whatever's inside. It's nice to have the like, uh, likes and dislikes, though, to just help out with gifts. Oh, uh, don't worry, uh, soy sauce. Take care. Poo-hoo-hoo, you finally arrived. Why, hello there, Kaede. Ah! Whoa, that scared me. Huh? What is this, a panda? What? We'll be living out the rest of our lives here. Wait a minute. You just came out of nowhere and... Uh, I don't get any of this. I'm not done talking yet, so please shut up. <laughs> anyway, if you want to leave the Academy, there's a special graduation requirement. I'll explain what this requirement entails. While you live together, you're all responsible for maintaining the harmony of the Academy. But if someone was to disrupt Harmony, then they get to leave. You with me so far? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> it's simple, really. A student must kill another student. Kill? Whether it's stabbing, bludgeoning, slicing, burning, crushing, strangling, poisoning. The method doesn't matter. The student that kills one of their classmates gets to leave. Work hard to make your undesirable means justify the most desirable end. I I know Amy hates Monokuma, but the voice acting on Monokuma is what makes him so friggin' delightful. Just reveling in the insanity of it all. Don't mess around with us. I would never murder anyone. <laughs> Your story begins. Jeez. My story? What does that even mean? Oh, oh. oh, you don't know? Didn't Makoto say something eerily similar before coming oh. here? You know Makoto? Yeah. Don't worry about the veteran. This is your story after all. Yahoo! 
More importantly, I've prepared rooms for your new, for you new students in the dormitory. You should check out your room. I'm sure things have gotten very interesting by now. Dorms, quickly! You'll know what I'm talking about when you get there. <laughs> My room? Monokuma as a Smash Fighter. It'd be interesting, but mm, you definitely have to PG-13 him. Though I had no idea of what was going on, I turned away from Monokuma regardless. I've heard so many strange terms today. New student, protagonist, killing game. I'm so exhausted I barely have the energy to feel confused by all this. I don't care what the bear says. I will not be part of some killing get- Code is still not back. A little worried, but for now I should go to the dorms. They did get Bayonetta in, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. I wonder which room is mine. It looks like each door has a portrait on it. Gee, I wonder. Oh, is it this one? But it's not just mine. Makoto and Hajime's portraits are on here too. On or on here too. I'll answer that. Don't worry, I'm happy to explain. Hey, uh this room has been prepared for the three of you to share it. It's purely a penny pinching manager. It might seem cramped, but I'm sure you'll make it work. I'm a girl. I can't agree to this at all. Yeah. Shenanigans in co-ed dorm rooms are the most juvenile of juvenile fantasies, you know. Any indecent behavior in the wholesome ha halls of the academy will be severely punished. But in the dorms, you can do whatever you want and I will look the other way. You three will stay in the protagonist room because I want you all to get along. Hey. What do you mean, protagonist? Huh? I only answer those types of questions once. Don't just stand there. Go inside already. Please. You're the one who stopped me. I've decided whether I'm sleep. I haven't decided whether I'm sleeping here, but I'm definitely not okay with this. Anyway, I should go inside. What a room. Huh? What? What happened? This room is a mess. Why? What the hell happened in this room? Slash marks covered the bed and walls, as if someone had gone on a rampage in here. It's a normal bed, but it's pretty damaged. What does this mean? What happened in here? This is a closet, right? I should check inside just to be safe. Hmm, wait a sec. This isn't just my room, it's also Makoto and Hajime's. Yeah. yeah, I shouldn't open it. There might be stuff in there they don't want me to see. I peeked into the shower room and there I saw... <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, thank God! All right, Ugh, best game. Oh, that is so satisfying. <laughs> he was a terrible person. <laughs> is this the only reason you requested this fall? Because you knew it would make me happy. <laughs> Honestly, I was expecting either Hajime or Makoto to be the one that was dead. Also stabbed in the exact same way as the first game in the bathroom. Oh my god, just a coincidence? That's funny. Maybe because he didn't show up in uh, Ultra Despair Girls. What? This can't be happening, can it? It can't be. Can dreams come it true? A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time passes, a class trial will be held! Oh, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> Clash Trial? Yahoo! It's the Clash Trial to determine who killed Yasuhiro Hagakure, the ultimate clairvoyant. The Jeez, this is like the second time he's died already. Eh, you guys can just ignore that. Did I just get spoilers for the Danganronpa 3 anime? Do I get to have uh, happy, happy things happen twice? 
Although you must kill someone to be eligible to graduate, killing alone is not enough. You must kill someone without the other uh, students finding out that you did it. In order to make sure the culprit has met that requirement, once a murder occurs, a class trial will be held after a certain amount of time. During the class trial, you'll present your arguments for who you think the killer is. If you're correct, only the blackened killer will, will receive punishment. And the rest of you will keep on living here together. But if you pick the wrong person, the, the blackened killer will get off scot-free and everyone else will receive punishment. Anyway, those are the rules of the class trial. What, what the? Now I gotta hand these out before you start investigating. It's a file containing all the information I've gathered about the victim. I call it the Monokuma file. After all, it's not like you guys are pros at examining bo dead bodies or anything. So I made sure to gather helpful info, such as the time of death, the time and cause of death. Now then, now then go forth and investigate. I'll see you all at the class trial. No, wait, wait a minute. No way. It's fine. I promise this will all pay off. You just got to focus like you're pulling an all-nighter. Uh, I never pulled an all-nighter. And you can't just spring an investigation on us like this. <laughs> Talking to me is just a waste of time. Save it for the class trial. <laughs> See you later. Uh, wait. In the end, Onikuma just ignored me and disappeared. I have to investigate and find out who killed Yasuhiro. Someone in this academy actually killed someone. Oh, Hero dying a second time is a referencing the J Japan only demo for one back in the PSP version where he was also the victim to avoid spoil spoiling the actual first victim. Oh, wow. So he's, it's just a callback, but it's a... Now, this is nice. I enjoy this. <laughs> he's really dead? Hmm. Even though the killing game uh, just started, it seems like someone was impatient. What? What, what are you saying? The, the killing? Are you saying the killing game started? The killing game followed by a class trial. Which means Monokuma was serious after all. That's right. We're going to investigate this murder and find the culprit of, at the class trial. Kaede, you got the Monokuma file, right? Y yeah. Monokuma just shoved it into my hands before I could say anything. I know it's annoying having him decide things on his own, but we should look at the Monokuma file first. It might have important clues. Hmm. Yeah, um... The victim was Yasuhiro Hagakure. The time of death is 1.30 p.m. The body was discovered in the protagonist's room in the dormitory. The victim died in the bathroom. The killing blow was a stab to the abdomen delivered by a knife. Aside from the killing blow, no other injuries can be seen. Right. 1.30 p.m.? That was just a few minutes ago. Ooh, his death is still fresh. Hiro was a student at this academy. He was your upperclassman. Yeah. Oh, I see. Hey. Yeah, he's from that first game. This is a... The, this is a demo, so it's all non-can and stuff, just to get people a sense of how the game plays. Uh, why did Hero die? In order to solve that, we need to investigate. <coughs> Excuse me. If we look around for clues, we're bound to find something. There should be some in the, there should be some in this room. Then we need to talk to any witnesses. We should also find where the weapon came from. Yes, but please do not spread yourself too thin. Let us proceed one step at a time. Okay, we just have to do it, right? Alright, let's see what we can find. Well, we'll talk to him first since he gets off the screen when I do that. You're... Going straight to an investigation. That's pretty forward thinking of you. If you're used to if you're used to seeing dead bodies, it'd be stupid not to feel it not to, to not feel anything. To be honest, I feel confused, scared, and disgusted by all this. Well, we don't have, but we, but we have to do this. I don't want, every, want everyone else to die. <laughs> You're rather motivated to stay alive. I wish I had. No, no never mind. But. Anyway, even though we're all, we, we were just told to do the killing game, someone someone already took action. Normally, you'd be hesitant. That is, unless you have a strong motive. That's right. It's not that easy to kill, even if someone is forcing you to do it. There's no way someone could suddenly adapt to a situation like this, right? I mean, it has to be either Hajime or Makoto. Let's be honest. May I? Kaede, Hajime, this room belongs to you as well as Makoto, correct? Yeah, that's right. Of course, I never agreed to it all. I have one question. 
Have any of you set foot in this room since your, your arrival in the, at the academy? I haven't. The first time I came to this room was when I discovered Hero's body. After the body discovery announcement was the, uh, was the first time I went in here too. What about it? In actuality, I've cleaned every room in the dormitory since I arrived at this academy. Merely a light cleaning, mind you, but at any rate, this dormitory should have been spotless. Naturally, that includes this room as well. What? When, when? How? I mean, I know you're the ultimate maid and all, but wow. I, do not agree. I provided this service to help everyone here relax. Please do not worry about it. Anyway, please take a look at this. I found it on the floor when I first arrived here. Is this hair? It's brown like Hero's hair. You know? But isn't the hero, Hero's hair long? I think this hair is a bit too short to be his. Hmm, do you think a piece of his hair was cut off during the struggle in the room? <laughs> the carpet matches the drapes! I bet that's a rogue pube from one of his tug sessions. What the hell? So, this Miyu here is our, uh, is our new rocker girl. Ibuki. But can you blame him? He was stuck in this school with a busty beauty like me, after all. No comment. Short brown hair, huh? Things like this might seem trivial, but sometimes they're important. What? Are you ignoring me? I know you guys heard me. That is correct. The only people with hair of a similar color and length are Hajime and Makoto. Huh? What? Yeah. This is the first time you entered this room, correct, H Hajime? What about Makoto? Uh, Seventh or uh, or Boris, if Amy gets close to Ace of Attorney Investigations too, I might change my request to it, or I can make Derek play a Fire Emblem ROM hack. Um, I mean, I already have Ace of Attorney Investigations two on the list, so it's going to be played eventually. I haven't asked him yet. Of course, a single strand of hair is not much of a lead, but at the very least, we should listen to Makoto's yeah. account. You're right. You know, I haven't seen Makoto since we went our separate ways before I went to the gym. I wonder where he went. Maybe I should check in here just in case. Makoto and Hajime stuff might be in here, but this is an emergency. I mean, people should have expected differences. They're not going to follow the fan translations of uh, what these characters, those characters were called. Since I never played the fan translations, I don't have any opinions about it. I am completely fine. Um, there we go. Uh... Seventh or Boros, you want to change yours to Danganronpa V3? Not now though. So after so after this, you want me to change it um, from Ace Attorney Investigations Two to V3? Sorry about this, guys. I slowly opened the door. What is this? Uniforms for all three of us were packed inside. What does this mean? I don't feel too good about this. No, I don't have time for that. I need to look for more clues that can lead me to the culprit. So I checked inside. There's nothing suspicious here. Uh, well, the uniforms themselves are suspicious, but... Hmm. They're fine with them all except for one that seems much worse. Hmm. Interesting. Let's check this place a little more. Oh. I realized that was the exit. Nelson, thank you very much for the Prime subscription. 19 months now. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. Hero, I can't believe someone was killed here. Kill killed here. I can't believe it either. I don't want to do this killing game. I wonder if we've already met the person who killed Yasuhiro. Even so, the reason this happened is because Monokuma trapped us here. That's true. Kaede, you can talk to me casually, just like how you uh, talk to Makoto, you know? You might feel confused after being wrapped up in this case so suddenly, but you could talk to me and Makoto about anything. I mean, we're your upperclassmen after all. Yeah. Thanks, Hajime. Is he trying to calm me down? Seeing Hajime keep his cool is helping me calm down a, bit, oh. down a bit. We're already confused after being trapped here and discovering a dead body, but now we have to investigate too? This is just too crazy. Yeah. But we need to do it in order to survive. It'll be fine as long as we work together. Hey, hey Hajime, if you want, would you like to investigate together? I think it helped me a lot, especially since you're calm and reliable. I'd like that, but since you'll be investigating, I think it's best if I stay here. Huh? What? Yeah. It's hard to believe, but the culprit is one of us here in this academy. 
which is why someone needs to guard the crime scene so the culprit can't destroy evidence. I see, that could happen, huh? But um, since you mentioned the culprit destroying evidence, if I'm the only one here and I was the culprit, I could destroy the evidence? That's wrong. No, no, I trust you, Hajime. Thanks, but you were right to hesitate. In order for you to keep trusting me, it's best if you stay suspicious. If I stay here alone, I'll have a hard time refuting if I'm accused of destroying evidence. Uh. Oh, that's right. If you stay behind with another person, you then... Agree. So you need a witness to vouch for the integrity of the crime scene, yes? Clarify, if Amy is close to playing Ace Attorney 2, Investigations 2, near the time of the request, I may change it to this game at that time. For now, keep it as Ace Attorney 2, Investigations 2. Okay, good to know. Yeah, she still has to get through Ace Attorney 3, and I don't know what, what she'd play that. I don't. I guess you have to ask her what do we, we'd have to find, figure out what, what she'd play next after that, whether we go chronologically or release order. I honestly don't know. Yeah, thanks. I think I hit the wrong button. Bunny Feng Boo, uh, thank you very much for the first time chat. Um, saying Ace Attorney Investigation 2 is such a good game. Haven't played it in years, but I still remember it clearly. I have not. I, I've. Uh, the only Ace Attorney games I've not played and beaten are five, six, and the two inv investigations games. Uh, Kurumi and I will stay put uh, put until the class trial. I'll leave the investigation to you, Kaede. Yeah. Okay, I'll do my best. Hajime is really calm. No, more than calm. It's more like he has experience with this sort of thing. Now nah, that's crazy of me. Uh, the walls of this room are covered in slashes, which means there was a struggle in this room between two people. But why this room? The victim was Yasuhiro Hagakure, the ultimate clairvoyant. Who would do this, and why? This knife lodged in his abdomen. Is it a kitchen knife? I know there's a kitchen in the dining hall. Maybe the knife came from there. There's blood everywhere, on the floor, on the handle of the kitchen knife too. But I can't figure out why. But I can't figure out why, but something seems strange about the blood on the handle. Am I imagining things? So after Trials and Tribulations, it'd be Apollo, um, if we go release order, but Investigations, if we go chronological. Okay. Hero. Oh, Makoto. Kaede, are you all right? You were the one who found the body, right? Um, yeah, I'm shocked, but I should be fine. We don't have time to stand around, though. I see. Then let's go together. What the hell? What the? <laughs> Rise and shine, Ursine. More robot bears? Why are there so many this time? It's my time to shine. We're the Monocubs. Nice to meet ya. Not funny. You know, for protagonists, your reaction to us was pretty boring. Right it's rude to... You're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Okay, that's some interesting music. Monokuma's kids, oh god. It's rude to scream at the sight of a cute little bears like us. Hey! I'm pissed! I gotta cool off by beating the shit out of Monodom! Hey. What's all this protagonist talk anyway? Monokuma hasn't told me anything. Hey, don't ignore me! You bastards. Asking Monodom is useless. Right. He's closed off his heart to others. Oh, then why don't you other bears answer me? Hey, shut up, you stupid bears. Don't interrupt our investigation. I don't know if I hate him, honestly. It'd be wasteful to show up for no reason, but we didn't come to interfere either. Papa Kuma told us to give you punk asses a hint. Papa, you mean Marukuma? No shit, Sherlock. I mean, look at us. We're clearly his flesh and blood cubs. 
Do robots even have flesh and blood? Are you sure it's okay to give them a hint so soon? It's like rewarding a baby with milk when it's been up all night crying. Hell yeah, I prefer honey over milk anyway. Anyway, that's enough messing around. You gotta do the rest on your own. Good luck. So long, farewell. So long, farewell. <laughs> what the heck? Jeez. Uh, wait, what's the hint? Jeez. They admitted they came here to mess, mess with us. They never planned to give us a hint. Jeez. Bunch of cowards trying to interrupt my investigation with their stupid crap. Whatever, if I get serious, I can solve this case in no time flat. Why are you laughing to you? Fuck all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what a vocal quote to have. Oh my god. It's just, you guys are dumber than fleas and twice as insignificant. <laughs> How could I not laugh? Hmm. What do you mean? Listen up. If you ask me, solving this case is easier than... That. You want to know, don't you? Well, since I'm feeling generous, I'll tell you. First, isn't it weird that no one even met that spiky-headed dildo before he got murked? It's a rude thing to call someone, but she's right. Yeah. This is my first time seeing Yasuhiro. Yeah. This is my first time seeing him, too. Me, too. I never even heard of him. Out of my way. Which means this spiky-headed dildo was hiding the whole time. Hiding? But why? <laughs> you don't know? Looks like you're... It's all that's pathetic about you. What the hell, Miu? Is she the most vulgar character we've ever met? That's saying something. Like, holy crap. Well, he may have been lying in wait for a chance to kill someone. She is absolutely the most filthy. Okay. What? No way. Anyway, that's not the only thing my golden brain managed to deduce. There's another person hiding somewhere, and I bet that's our culprit. Huh? There's another person hiding. You might be right. But where's your proof? What was that? I got my genius intuition on my side. I don't need any freaking proof. Huh? Huh? So basically you're just imagining things. It's true though. I don't want to think that one of us might be the culprit. Besides, Hero wasn't trying to hide. Why you? What'd you say, you freaking pleb? You saying I'm wrong? That's not it. No, it's true. After I woke up in this academy, I see I saw Hero walking down the hall over there. I see. Oh, then that just means we never actually saw him. Wait, hold on a sec. This isn't, isn't over yet. Yeah, that's it. I got an even easier explanation for what went down. Enjoy. The culprit is whoever the key has the key to this room. Booyah! Mic drop, freaker, freakers. You know? Well, no one gave me the key. Yeah. Uh, really? Come on, man. Hey, quit your bullshit. You're just making everyone confused. Cool. Instead of saying a bunch of vulgar things, why not use your brain a little? What did but I, do? I am... For all her big talk and swagger, Miu is actually pretty meek when confronted. Oh gosh. Her theories are completely off base, but she's still trying her best to figure this out. All right. It's alright, Miu. We still have time. We just have to look for more clues, that's all. What was that? Huh? You and me. <laughs> Good one. That's almost as funny as your tiny blueberry pancake. What? What the hell is she talking about? Okay, sure. What you got for me, Kaido? So this means someone believed that the only way to get out of here was by killing someone? <laughs> the dead body is proof of that. There's no way a body would end up quite like this by accident. Damn it, why would they kill him? Why didn't they just talk things over with us? Yeah. yeah, we haven't searched the whole school yet. There could still be a way out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. They resorted to this right off the bat. When we find the culprit, I'm going to punch some sense back into them. Hey, excuse me. I think the only one I can compare is maybe Kaede from Nier, uh, well, the original Nier. Hey, Makoto, after we split up, where did you go? Um, it's not like I suspect you, but I was worried because you never came back. You can ask me anything. I'm sure you must have questions. Let's see. After we split up, I went around the academy to investigate. Huh? Around the academy? Yeah. I'm familiar with this academy, but I noticed that the entrance hall was blocked off. I decided to, decide to check everywhere I could to see if there was any way out. Or to find clues about Monokuma. Kaine, that's it, not Kaine. Sorry. Thank you, that, that nobody. 
I thought if I could find a map that might help you might help you out, seeing as you're new here. I see. I see. So you were thinking about me, huh? I'm glad to ha I have an upperclassman like you to help look at things from a different perspective. No. Oh, it wasn't a big deal. I didn't end up finding anything. And now that the killing game has begun, we have to focus our attention on that. Mm. First, we need to do something about this class trial, right? Hey. Yeah, and if you'd like, I can help out with the investigation. Huh? Uh, really? Yeah. Well, I can't stand by and do nothing. Hero was my classmate. Um, I see. Hey. And besides, all of us are supposed to help with the investigation. That's what Monica was said, right? If we don't discover the culprit, then everyone will be punished. And by punished, he means execution. Huh? What? I just got goosebumps. Waking up in this strange place, being told to do a killing game, then finding a dead body? It's been a long time since I felt panic like this. But that panic grabbed hold of my heart and snapped me back to reality. No, not panic. Fear. Hey. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but we need to collect evidence for now. It's alright, as long as you don't give up, you can fight off any despair. And I'm here to help, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm the ultimate lucky student, although I might not be that reliable. No, no you're really reliable. Thank you, Makoto. Makoto said that to encourage me, so I'll do my best and work harder. I can't let everyone be executed. First, we should figure out where the murder weapon came from. That's right. Yeah, you're right. There's only one place the murder weapon could have come from. Alright, let's get out of here. Hmm. Man, I forgot the dry mouth that... Uh, um, Danganronpa caused. Hey. A murder occurred? Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? The crime occurred in the protagonist's room. Stupid name aside, that's your room, isn't it? Uh, don't you, do you think I'm suspicious? Well, it's not true. I didn't do anything. Yeah. In situations like this, the first person to discover the body is the most suspicious. Oh. Maki, I understand why you, you'd suspect us, but if you, have, if you have your mind made up from the start, you'll never reach the truth. I know. If we don't find the culprit, we'll die. I don't intend to just go with the easiest answer. But at the same time, I have no reason to trust you guys either. She has a point. I hope there's evidence that proves I'm not the culprit. Okay. Kaede, is it true? Did a murder really happen? Yeah. yeah, it's hard to believe, but it's true. Are you the culprit? That's wrong. No, I mean, the murder scene was in my room, but... Then, then you're the culprit for sure. Uh, it wasn't me! That's wrong. Kimiko, you shouldn't say that. We have to investigate first. I'm a mage! Murder investigations aren't my specialty. What? We need to work together. We can do this if we try. Yeah, that's right! That's right, or else you'll die. What a pain. <laughs> what a pain. Does she not realize our lives are at stake here? Oh boy, this ought to be something. Oh, man. Why'd you kill him, Kaede? Did you really want to escape that badly? What? what? Right? What? Well, Hiro was murdered in your room, right? Oh, boy. oh man, if you were going to kill him, you should have done it better. This is so easy, it's boring. That's wrong. No, I didn't do anything. Mm. So you're saying the culprit has to be either Makoto or Hajime. Because? Because if you didn't do it, then that's what you're getting at, right? That's not true. That's not what I meant. Oh, yeah. Then you can, can you prove their innocence? I haven't heard anything about who they were before or after the incident. Um, that's... Hold on. Kokichi, I don't think this case is that simple. I think you'll realize that during the trial. Mm, do you know something, Makoto? <laughs> well, we can discuss this in greater detail at the at the class trial. The game wouldn't be fun unless we all experienced the climax together. What? Kokichi seems to be enjoying this situation. Not only that, he suspects us too. I have to explain to him at the class trial why we couldn't have done it. Nothing else. Alright, out we go. There's one thing I can plainly tell you. After I woke up in this academy, I went to my room in the dormitory. Of course, I don't want to spend the night in a place like this. But I thought if I'd, I had somewhere to spend the night, at least it'd help me calm down. Yeah. That's right. Kurumi said she cleaned the rooms. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about Kurumi. I saw Kurumi going in and out of everyone's dorm room with, clean, with cleaning supplies. Then that means Kurumi really did clean our rooms. Do you remember how long Kurumi took, into, took to clean each room? Yeah. Yeah, I watched her for a while because I, I admired her bearing, as, her bearing as a professional maid. Kurumi was efficient, so she didn't spend long in each room. And did you hear any loud sounds or maybe someone's voices? Yeah. Mm, I don't remember hearing anything out of the ordinary. 
One last question. Did you see Hero? No, I didn't. I think I definitely remember seeing hair like his. I see. Thank you. That was helpful. Hmm, so that means it's highly unlikely Kurumi killed Hiro while she was cleaning. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. No way. That is a very good question, Time Sage. One of us really kill Hiro? Got to not want to believe one of us really bad person, because no bad person likes bugs. I don't want to believe that one of us killed him either. Then we should consider other possibilities. We have to investigate. If we do that, we might be able to prove that none of us is the culprit. Yeah, you're right. All right. Oh, good night, Lass. Take care. There has to be other possibilities, so we should work together, guys. Do his best. Yeah, you're right. Gonta not smart, but Gonta work his hardest. Let's head towards the kitchen. Yaha! How's it going? Probably not good, huh? Because yes. Hiro got killed in your room, right, Kayate? That means the culprit is either you, Makoto, or Hajime. How exciting. Huh? Hold on, Angie. It's dangerous to go into this with your, your minds made up. Huh? But that's what Achua is telling me. And Ach was never wrong, you know. Stop it. What? Yeah. Praise be to Achwa. We are close to solving this case. I'm not gonna let her accuse me with weak reasoning like that. All right, off to the dining hall. That's more. That's more Ghana's voice actress. I didn't even recognize it. It's a different. It's uh, interesting because it's a completely non-canon situation, like the previous two protagonists are here. And I also got very happy about who the murder victim was. Oh no, was it the, uh, the uh, big guy? Big guy? Uh, it was... Daddy. No, the, it was my least favorite character from Don Don Rumpa 1, Hero, the fortune teller oh. who scammed people out of their money. Oh, I hated him. <laughs> I hated him. I literally. I didn't like the, the guy, like the, the girl that she was. I didn't like him. Like he was really large and he had, like. Oh. Had all the oh, he was down there, but he wasn't the worst. My least favorite. This guy was. I mean, I cheered. Because <laughs> oh, I wanted him to die the entire first game, and he didn't. <laughs> I, well, the thing was, I was kind of just sort of annoyed by him because he was just served as like, what about this dumb situation? Um, but instead, it was. Uh, but when I actually hung out with him and got the full bars and full the the full uh, like hangout meter, um, then it's like, oh, this guy sucks. Like, there's nothing redeemable about this. Uh, also, something you will, that you will really dislike about this game. Monokuma had kids. Oh my god. There were five mini Monokumas in, the, in this game. He, well, he didn't. There's no way he had kids because he's a robot. Right? Well, they're robots too, so they're just mono cubs. Uh, no. All Power Rangers coordinated. No, there's more of them. <laughs> there are there's six in this game. Yep. Wasn't there a whole army of Monokumas Yeah, and Ultra Despair Girls, but that was they were just things to kill. They didn't actually talk. They're just out to kill. So. Still, Monokuma is terrible. <laughs> One of us killed Hiro. That's what Monokuma said. I don't think that's the only possibility. We won't know until we investigate. That's right. That's right. It could have been Monokuma's doing. He definitely enjoys toying with us. You're right. That's true. That could be a possibility. It's possible that none of us killed him. But by the same reasoning, mm. it's still possible that one of us killed him, though, isn't it? Shuichi, do, do, do you suspect me, too? No. Ah, you don't seem like the kind of person who would kill somebody. But until I find evidence that proves you're innocent, that's true. Uh, who was down there? Oh, the um, it was the no. You're talking about the really fat guy in the first game, right? 
don't know if he he wasn't a womanizer, but he was just kind of pervy. He was like the ultimate uh, comic creator, like Dujan artist. Hifumi, thank you, Simadon. Sorry, it's not that I want to suspect you. I just no, it's fine. That's what the ultimate detective is supposed to do. Don't worry about me. Just do your best to investigate. That's what's going to save us. Of course, I'll do my best too. Okay. Huh? That was a dull response. What happened? Hey. The murder weapon might have been taken from this kitchen. We should check it out. A murder that occurred in our midst. A class trial that looms before us. What sort of human beauty will I be able to witness in such a strange situation? He's still a total creep. Listen. Of course, I will do more than bear witness. I too am investigating in my own way. However, just because, just, however, something bothers me beyond just this case. Huh? What? What is it? I'm sure you wonder about it as well. What sort of place is this academy? Why are we being treated as its students? And are we truly trapped here? Normally, we would seek to answer those, the answers to those questions. But this case and the class trial will have, ins have ensured everyone will lose sight of these questions. Yeah. We definitely have to talk about that with everyone. We need to investigate. We don't have a lot of time from when the body is discovered to the class trial. Hmm. You speak as if you're familiar with this pro with the process, yes? That's... That's also something that we can talk about later. <laughs> I see. I shall believe your words for now, in that case. Does Makoto know something? I can trust him, can't I? Phew, now that I've had a nice cup of tea in the dining hall and bounced back. By heaven and hell, I will not forgive the murderous degenerate male who did this. I don't think we've determined that the, boy, the culprit is a boy, though. Never saw the kitchen before. There were kitchen knives of various sizes, but it looks like one of them is missing. Was it always missing, or... I need to talk to someone who knows more about this kitchen. I don't think we met anybody in here, and I, well, I didn't come here, but they said we saw everybody, so. Did we? Okay, there it is. That's certainly nice. That's a much better. Oh, we have to ask everybody else. You know? Um, Tenko, it looks like the kitchen is short one kitchen knife. Hold on, I didn't take a knife. Oh god, these faces. Um. Oh, it's not that. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything about it, that's all. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I'm sorry for jumping to conclusions. Um, so I did notice earlier that a knife had suddenly disappeared from the kitchen. Huh? What? Can you give me more details? Yes. Before the body discovery announcement, I went to the kitchen to get some tea. At the time, all the knives were still there. But when I went to put away put away the tea cups, one of the knives was missing. At the time, I thought it was strange a knife was missing when no one, no one was cooking. I see, this might be an important clue. Thanks, Tenko. <laughs> I'm honored I could help you. I would never allow a fellow female to be executed. Hey. Um, Tenko, were you drinking tea by yourself in the dining hall? No. No, I was with Himiko. She was teaching me the difference between magic and magic tricks. We were here together when the body was discover when the body discovery announcement was made. I see. I see. And during that time, did anyone else come? By the way. I think so. It was just one person, a degenerate male, actually. Hmm. I don't know who, because I wasn't interested in seeing the exact degenerate that walked in. So the kitchen knife was taken while Tenko was in the dining hall. Then whoever came in the dining hall during that time was suspicious. Hey. Kaede, it seems we've got all the clues here. Should we go somewhere else? Right. Yeah, let's go. Oh, ding dong, bing bong. Uh, I'm starting to get tired. Can we move this along already? At last, the eagerly anticipated class trial. Everyone, please assemble at the red door at the end of the hallway. Poo see you there. <laughs> what? Already? I still don't know anything yet. Katie, they're going to suspect us at this class trial. But I didn't do it. I know, I didn't do it either. 
You can't give up now, no matter who doubts you, or, or you'll never find the truth. I believe in you. Don't forget that. Yeah. yeah, all right. If Makoto believes in me, then I'll believe in him too. Anyway, we just need to deal with this class trial. Uh, I need to head to the red door, right? Thank goodness the master face memer. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> You'll like this version of the school at least. It's so overgrown that there's actually trees in here. Uh. Hello, hello! I finally arrived. No elevator this time. Oh, there's the monokit, Cubs. Hi, hello! All right, everyone, find your assigned podium and stand behind hey. it. Monokuma, I don't know what you're scheming, but I won't let you do whatever you want. You're an upperclassman protagonist. I think you can come up with a better line than that. That's wrong. Hajime's right. You can't just do whatever you want with your lives. Hey. Jeez, that's basically what Hajime just said. You two need, a punch, you two need punch up writers or something. Whether this demo is exciting or not depends entirely on you. Huh? De yeah. De demo? Anyway, this cl the class trial is finally starting. Oh, they're definitely just having fun with this. I don't spoil the main story. Anyway, the class trial is... Yeah. The story is canon, but this demo is not canon. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. That's a nice way to handle it, actually. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the class trial is finally starting. Make sure you guys psych yourselves up. Please wait. Hold on. You're really what the, the trial's just about to start. I can't stand inconsiderate robots. <laughs> but there's a really big problem. Look, there aren't enough podiums. Huh? Uh, you're right. There's 18 of us, but there's 16 podiums. Hey. Hey, Cubs. Can you explain what's going on? You didn't mess up now, did you? It's Monodum's fault. No way, Papa Kuma. <laughs> no way, Papa Kuma. It's Monodum's fault th that there aren't enough uh, podiums. Um, yeah, anyway, we didn't make a mistake. Got it? I know, let's just pick two people at random and rip them apart with the exissals. That'll teach the rest of these tw these twerps not to make the class trial b boring. Th that's too gory. Let's just pick who will sit out with the rock paper with rock paper scissors instead. No. No, all our lives will be on the line in this class trial. I won't let people lose the right to voice their opinions through rock through rock paper scissors. My mood is but there swinging. are but there aren't enough podiums, so I guess two people gotta sit out and just watch. You gotta be kidding me! Makes no sense! Don't say such selfish things. Hey! Wait, shut up. I don't need a podium, because if I don't participate in the class trial, then these <laughs> then these fuckers can't <laughs> finger the culprit. Then I won't get punished, right? Huh? Huh? <laughs> no. In that scenario, the people watching from the sidelines would still get punished. Um. Th then a genius like me should participate for the sake of the one sitting out, you know? Hey, hey! Two people, huh? Well, we'll make uh, Key Boy sit out. Uh, but what about the other bo uh, the other person? Any volunteers? Hey. hey, don't decide that on your own. But I don't mind sitting out. Huh? Huh? Makoto. Hey. I trust Kayede. We investigated this case together. You got me. Yeah. Well, you guys shouldn't decide that without discussing it with us first. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I don't agree with all the flip flopping going on, but I do agree we should discuss it. I guess. Yeah. If the Black End isn't in the trial, then we won't be able to catch any of the, their slip ups. Worst of all, if the Blacken sits out, the trial won't be nearly as exciting. But Kibo's not the Blacken this time, so I'll just remove him from the roster. Why? You can't decide that on your own either. What are you talking about? Can you prove you're not the Blacken? Hey. I can vouch for Kibo. He's not the Blacken. I was with him the whole time. That's... If Kibo and Rantaro are, can both prove each other's alibis, then they're both not the Blacken. So is it okay if those two sit out? Because I'm honestly getting sick of waiting. Jeez. Such a selfish reason to make them sit out. Oh, nothing. I don't mind stepping out, but I've got some conditions. Huh? Huh? Conditions? Hey. First, you need to let us observers participate in choosing the blackened. And if we can't agree with the conclusion that everyone's reached, we are allowed to ask everybody one question. Depending on the situation, we should be allowed to restart the discussion entirely. Understand. So what do you think? It would be unfair for, uh, to us if you said no. Agreed? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I agree to those terms. Let's just hurry up and start already. Wow. You agreed to that quite easily. Oh, yeah. Even with these speed bumps in the road, the destination won't change. 
Oh, that makes sense, uh, Fa. The outcome of this trial is absolute. Huh? What, what do you mean by that? Yeah. Oh, you'll understand soon enough. Durr. Anyway, we've spent way too much time dawdling. Move your asses already. Ah, ah father's angry. Yeah. Oh no, get your podiums quick. Get, get to your podiums quickly, you bastards. That is not fun. So I'm sitting this one out after all? Leave it to me. I'll be curing your lives too. I'll definitely do something about the, uh, I'll definitely do something about all this. And don't worry, we've got the ultimate detective on our side. Huh? huh? <laughs> well then, uh, we've got nothing to worry about. Well, if something happens, uh, I'll be sure to help. Do your best. Don't be nervous. Uh, okay. Even with everything that's happened, Rontaro is so zen right now. He calmly negotiated terms with Monokuma. I wonder what his talent could be. Ultimate shoot, chill dude. Ah, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team is now available in GBA NSL. Very cool. Oh, I wish that was the case, Chris. I would love it to be so much... The stadium games would be so much better if you could actually use your own Pokemon. With Monokuma rushing us, we hurried to our assigned podiums. And the curtain lifted. A life-or-death trial, a life-or-death death deception, a life-or-death betrayal. Life-or-death mysteries, life-or-death lies, life-or-death truths. A life-or-death class trial. All right. Any skills? Oh, here we go. Perfect. So, Fa, how, how much time would you say we have left at this point? Because obviously with me reading, it goes a little bit slower. of the class trial. At least I get the rest of my voice. Will be decided by your votes. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you vote incorrectly, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened and that person will graduate instead. Hey, do you guys really think that one of us killed Hero? Of course. Going to knock the culprit. I'm not the culprit either! Only degenerate males would commit such an act of violence! You've already ruled out half the suspects? Shit, this is gonna be fucking easy! <laughs> we can't rule out suspects that way. We need to look at all the possibilities. Agreed. But what to discuss first? Suspicious places, things, people... Kino looks creepy! That's suspicious enough for me! That face. Speaking of suspicious people, how about that one with the strange title? Oh, you're talking about the ultimate supreme leader, right? That's super suspicious. I oh, forget his name, but uh, I, I I'm familiar with this voice actor as well. He's he's in Bleach as well. I think it's Uryu. Derek Stephen Prince, that's it. Through Hiko before, that's right. Okay, let's begin. Um, where should going to begin? We just gotta tackle the suspicious stuff one thing at a time, right? <laughs> so Kokichi's talent and Kyo's face are both suspicious. I could strip them both butt naked with my magic. But my MP's low right now. <laughs> a night in the dorms would restore your MP, but the trial would be over by then. <laughs> the heck? First, we have to determine what is suspicious and what is the truth. In order to make that clear, how about we start by going over the case? I agree. If we sort out the details, we might figure out which parts don't add up. I see. Then let's do it. Starting soon, the debate to decide the culprit. If I notice anything, I need to point it out. Not just for my life, but for everyone else's lives too. And now the class trial has begun. As things progress during each class trial, non-stop debates will occur. Uh, during non-stop debates, characters will speak one after the other uh, without pause. All right. 
confirm, fast forward. This is silencer. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions in their statements. You'll have to use the truth bullets you gathered to refute what they say. Any any relevant truth bullets you found will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the left uh, stick to aim and fire with Y. Aim for the gold words displayed in their statements. Those are the weak points. There's a chance that the lies or contradictions are hiding within those weak points. Remember, this is just a possibility, so it won't always work. Also, it can only be refuted by the correct truth bullet. Compare everyone's statements to the truth bullets you have, and shoot your truth bullet at the proper weak point. Also, the pink words are called white noise. Your truth, your truth bullets will disappear if they touch these lines, so think of them as obstacles. You can use the silencer with A to shoot down the white noise. Please time your truth bullets just right so they won't get interrupted by the white noise. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. Sorry, this is getting long, I know. Basically, if you find a weak point, then try shooting a, a truth bullet at it. Oh, I almost forgot, the new element. During the trial, you can concentrate to make time slow down. This will also reveal a small red dot within weak points called the V point. What the? If you hit the correct truth, if you hit that with the correct truth bullet, you'll get an awesome V counter, bullseye. V counters really improve your score and the number of monocoins you, you earn, so try, it at, try that out. Oh. Practice your V counters in this trial version so that you'll look pro when the game comes out. During the non-stop debates, so that'll bring up the controls. Give them a look. The victim was Yasuhiro Hagakure. He was a classmate of mine. Sounds like the victim, Yasuhiro. Much more stylish. The suspects, Makoto, knew each other. Everyone here is a potential suspect. The murder happened... What the? <laughs> That's so fast. The three main characters room. Even more precisely, he was in the bathroom. So that hero guy must have been taken by surprise while he was in the bathroom. He didn't even have a chance to resist. Oh no. It's obvious a struggle happened in our room, right? Then that statement contradicts itself. If I shoot that contradiction with the correct... Okay. The victim was Yasuhiro Hagakure. The, uh... Style has definitely improved. He didn't even have a chance to research. No, that's wrong. V counter. Hey, Kaito. About the room where the murder happened. I think they fought in there. Isn't that right, Kirumi? That is correct. Going well, uh, D Jade and Buck. Getting towards the end of the demo since we're in the class trial. Prior to the incident. The room was slightly dusty, but after, it was in a terrible state. Just as Kaede said, we can presume a struggle happened in that room. Okay, so that room wasn't such a mess to begin with, then. Kirumi, you went into that room, too? Yes, to clean it. I do this for all the dorm rooms. But I did not see the culprit or hero. I plainly saw Kirumi going in and out of the dorms. Uh, this, this is because it originated on the Vita. One and two originally PSP games ported to the Vita, so definitely more stylish. Very cool. She was only in each room a short time, and I didn't hear any sort of struggle. So I think it would have been difficult for her to have killed Hero then. Which two people fought in that room? We must first make that clear. The two people who fought in that room were... Uh, guess a hero and the culprit. I get it. Of 
course. It was Hero and the Culprit. Huh? Really? Yes, Kaido. <laughs> Who else would it be, dumbass? You got shit for brands or something? Thank you, Miyu. Who are you calling a dumbass? I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. I'm gonna star in Dragon Quest XI. Don't raise your voice like that. Hey, you two idiots over there. Stop chit-chatting and keep this discussion moving. Hey, don't lock me in with that idiot. You're talking to the gorgeous girl genius, Mew Iruma. Yep, you two should be lumped together. Your statements are on the same level. <laughs> Judging from the state of the crime oh boy. Scene, after struggling with the culprit, Yasuhiro ran into the bathroom. <laughs> that face. <laughs> but the culprit chased after him and killed him. That's the most likely chain of events. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Well, Kaede, continue where you left off. Wait, why me? Kokichi, don't single out Kaede. In a class trial, everyone needs to contribute. But you know, if we just have Kaede talk the whole time, this might end sooner. You seem awfully wary of Kaede. Do you think she'll incriminate herself if we let her talk? It's not just Kaede or Mary. The discussion won't move forward if we all just point fingers. Like Shuichi said, we need to talk about all the possibilities. Yeah, what he said. No way Kaede's the culprit. Kaito, this trial won't go anywhere if you don't suspect anyone. Cut it out, you degenerates. You're holding up the debate. I believe Hajime is correct about the circumstances of Yasuhiro's murder. What we have to determine now is the murder weapon. I mean, I think that's pretty obvious. Tokyo's life. Are you sure? Because Miss Andre over there looks like she could pummel a dude to death. Let me make this perfectly clear. The art of Neo Aikido is not used for murder. If I had to fight off a male, I'd just throw him across the room. Then, um, still might kill someone. Gonta could maybe use fists as weapons, but then Gonta would be no gentleman. You're calling yourself a weapon? There was no indication the body was punched. I don't believe fists were the murder weapon. Then our murder weapon is the knife stabbed into his gut. <laughs> this guy cracks me up every time. Just like, what the hell? Joy, you don't have to be a genius like me to know that knife was the weapon. Yes, Simidong. Uh, hopefully I can just hit start. B. Um. Next to How's that? Hopefully that's good. We can adjust further if we need to. Nice. Hopefully that's better, Simidon. I wonder, was the murder weapon lodged in Hero's abdomen, abdomen really a knife? Yes! I need to find out more about the weapon uh, used to kill Hero. In scenes where you have to deduce an image, Mind Mind will begin. What the? Okay, that's new. In this mode, the objective is to dig up the answer. At the beginning, the answer will be completely covered by pieces. Use the left stick to uh, move the cursor and delete pieces with the A button. Pieces will be erased when two or more of the same color are connected. The adjacent pieces will then change color in the following order. White, pink, yellow, white. If you do it right, you can remove all the pieces from an object. The trick is to predict how the adjacent pieces will change. When all the pieces on top of an object are gone, you can select the object as the answer. If you select the wrong object, your influence gauge uh, will take damage. If there's just one piece left, you can break it with the A button uh, repeatedly to break it. 
but that will incur a time penalty, so just don't don't just button mash. It might sound complicated, but trust me, you'll get it as you play. Can you spell knife? That's different. <laughs> Minesweeper, but also kind of a puzzle game. It's different. But specifically, a kitchen knife, right? Yeah, it's a really chill mini game. Really? Hey, Smash yeah, Matt. I caught a glimpse of it too. That was definitely a kitchen knife. That's pretty suspicious. Maybe you just saw it wrong. How could I see a kitchen knife wrong? Everyone knows what those look like. A knife? I do remember seeing a knife in the kitchen. That could be it. I see, I see. An Is excellent it... deduction from the ultimate detective. Okay. Well done. Awesome. Thank you, Simidon. Uh, it's not because I'm a detective. I'm still in training. You really don't need to be a detective to know that the knife came from the kitchen. Either way, it's exactly what Shuichi said. One kitchen knife is gone from the kitchen. Then the one who took the knife from the kitchen is our culprit. Hey, Monokuma XD3. <laughs> yep. Uh, we played Danganronpa 1 and 2, but I, it's just, and Ultra Despair Girls, but uh, V3 isn't quite on our lineup yet, so somebody suggested me trying out the demo for V3. And it's definitely been fun. cares about the murder weapon what do you mean who cares we can already guess who the culprit is there's a super duper huge hint already are you talking about the murder scene what i've heard i've heard from a lot of people v3 it's either two or v3 is the favorite atua says the occupant of the room where yasuhiro was killed is the culprit well, you say the occupant, but Makoto, Hajime, and Kaede were all in that room. Wait, you're suspecting us? Well, the murder did take place in our room. It's understandable that you'd suspect us. But I didn't do it. It might have been our room, but I never even went inside before the murder. I didn't either. Well, Kaede, did you? I definitely didn't do it! After Monokuma told us, I went into that room for the first time, and saw Hiro dead. The murder scene was in yours and the other's room. Also, you were the first witness. If you don't have evidence... This is really chill track, open, uh, Fa. still suspicious. Two is your personal favorite, V3 is close second. I still need to watch the Danganronpa 3 anime as well. Suspecting her right off the bat is so mean. Hey, you're the one who brought it up. Did I ever say Kaede's the culprit? It makes sense to suspect the first witness as the culprit. But taking shortcuts like that won't get us the best result. Yeah, Smash Man, this is a non canon case. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Which makes sense. They don't want any spoilers for what's coming up because you get that you play the demo, you go to the full game, and all of a sudden, like, well, I already know what's happening, so let's just skip through as much quickly as we can. Maybe but coming from a suspect, it still sounds suspicious. But like Hajime said, we can't afford to get caught up in assumptions. 
We need to talk this over more to uncover the truth. Get you a nice sense of, of course, how the gameplay goes and the new characters. This is a test? I agree with Hajime. We still have many questions about this incident. As long as there is room for debate, it is rash to decide upon the culprit. That's right. If we give up now, the class trial will end. I don't think that's, I mean, that's probably what they do nowadays, Karagosa, but that was not common when this came out. Gonta not good at tough subjects, but Gonta will work hard for everyone's sake. That's right. We need to work together so we can overcome this class trial. Everything's gone smoothly so far, but... Huh? Did you say something, Makoto? No, it's nothing. <laughs> got to only pawn in Game of Life. <laughs> Either way, we've got three main suspects now. The culprit is not necessarily among them, but they remain suspicious. It's not any of them. I believe in these guys. <laughs> well, right now, they're the most likely culprits. Oh, oh, maybe one of them took the knife from the kitchen? If that's the case, that would be pretty suspicious. If we can determine who took the murder weapon from the kitchen. Well, it's de we definitely know it's a guy because the one who took the knife was noticed by... Um, a keto girl, but uh, Tenko, I believe. But uh, obviously, she didn't pay attention to them. That would be best. I'm certain they've been longing for the chance to speak. That's right. Kaede, are you okay with that too? Yeah, we have to at least try. Whoa, whoa! Wait a second. <laughs> I'm all for lively debate. But I won't allow KG Kaede to participate. What? Why? Because STFU, that's why. What? But what does that mean? It means it'll stir the fun up. Get it? <laughs> Thank you, Monodum. Right now, the fun's just simmering. Anyway, instead of KG Kaede. We're gonna have someone else deliver their testimony instead. Just make a shit ton of excuses for why you're not the culprit. <laughs> okay, but before all that, what am I supposed to do? Is it magic? Do you want me to unleash a deadly explosion spell? No, I don't think we need magic. We need to talk about the kitchen knife. Like, did you see that knife? What happened in the kitchen and dining hall? Anything? Oh, maybe I can help. All right, I guess I'll just do it then. Kaede, I'll leave this to you. I want you to discern our voices. Now it's time for a new segment to begin. The Mass Panic Debate! All right, something new. This is gonna be a pain after all, huh? <laughs> oh no, all three people are talking at once. Everyone is clamoring to prove their innocence. There's a panic in the courtroom. <laughs> that may or may not, may not be next to the disco. Um, oh, that's right. It's time. You will now be thrown into a mass panic debate. During the mass panic, de panic debate, three debates will happen at the same time. But remain calm. It's just like a non-stop debate. You're just hearing triple the opinions. Simple, right? But don't get cocky. The mass panic debate will also have loud voice dialogue. It's when one of your opponents shouts out their opinion, their, opi their opinion in a loud voice. That blocks out everyone's arguments. Even if you see a weak spot, you can't refute it. Oh no! What do you do? What do I do then? That's what you're thinking, right? Luckily, it's just like white noise. Shut them up with the A button silencer. After all, all of the arguments will be audible again. After that, all the arguments will be audible again. Sort through everyone's opinions, find the lie or contradiction, and refute it. You can also use V counter, so if you're confident, give that a shot. Thank you for your time. Sincerely, System. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at all the podiums going back and forth. 
Take his account. Okay, that's what we want. There's no way I could have gotten the knife. She was teaching me the difference between real magic and a magic trick. It was just the two of us there for my lecture. Just the two of us, I think, is the one. Everybody knows the difference between magic and a trick. Also, I was making tea. Okay, there's only the one, so that makes it easy. According to Tenko's testimony, there should be a contradiction in one of those statements. I never went to the kitchen. In the dining hall. So there's no way I could have gotten the knife. She was teaching me the difference between real magic and a magic trick. It was just the two of us there for my lecture. I think I missed. I hear it. I didn't get a V counter. Bummer. Yeah, the new mechanics are certainly Wait interesting. While Tenko and Himiko were in the dining hall, there was one other person who went in there too. Um, Tenko, were you drinking tea in the, by yourself in the dining hall? No, I was with Himiko. She was teaching me the difference between magic and magic tricks. We were here together when the body discovery announcement was made. I see, and during that time, did anyone else come? I think so. It was just one person. A degenerate male, actually. I don't know who, because I wasn't interested in seeing the exact degenerate that walked in. Isn't that right, Tenko? Yes, that's true. But I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was. I was too focused on Himiko's lesson to notice the exact degenerate that showed up. Yeah, you even said you weren't interested because it was a man who walked in. And what about you, Himiko? Did you see who came into the dining hall? Yeah. Now that I think about it, someone was in the kitchen. Two biggest airheads someone saw the culprit. No longer with us. <laughs> oh. Oh, I didn't expect that. Yasuhiro. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Different from the uh, the racing thing or from uh, Danganronpa 2. When you have to do when you have to deduce how things are connected, Psych Taxi will start uh, start up. Or Psyche Taxi. Uh, the objective of this mode is to gather the letter cubes to form the question. Use the A button to accelerate and the left stick to move left and right. By picking up letter cubes floating around, you can complete the question. Once you completed the question, you head toward the escort that has the correct answer. If it's the right answer, they'll get in the in your car. If it's the wrong answer, something bad happens. No more surf surfboards, it's time for Crazy Taxi. <laughs> also, there will be other cards, cars on the road. If you lose those, you will take focus energy damage. If it's getting dangerous, use RB to concentrate, stay calm, and avoid them. Please drive safely and enjoy the ride. Alright. Thank you for your understanding. Alright, let's see how this goes. So, does it have to be all... Oh, jeez, it's not by... Not, this is not lane-based. Okay, who is not here? The victim. <laughs> what the heck? Thought I just committed a hit and run. This is certainly different. I gotta see the Game Gross reaction to this. They were making fun of the surfing. I can't watch it though because I don't want to be spoiled. gives you this scintillating minigame as well. Uh, who's the victim? Uh, Yasuhiro. <laughs> Alright, that's that. Uh, 
Uh, not Euros for a while, Monokuma. So if you look, <laughs> if you look at, um, so the way my channel works is that, uh, People can, if they, as they watch, they earn their channel points, and they can use those channel points to request me to, to, to play a game. But because of that, I have a massive backlog, and in order to sort of curb the backlog and prevent it from getting ad added so much, I instituted recently a new thing called these single session streams, which is why we're checking out the demo. It's only for tonight. Um, and then I move on to the next single stream request. Um, meanwhile, I have you know, long games and short games to do. And there's a long lineup of long games <laughs> to, to get through. So that's why it's like unclear. Like I could potentially do it on my own, but I, I assume people would probably want to see me actually play it. Are you saying Hero is the one who went into the kitchen? Uh -huh. There's no mistaking that dumb hair of his. Then the one who took the knife from the kitchen is... It's reasonable to assume that it was the victim himself, Yasuhiro Hagakure. Whether it was for self-defense or murder, however, remains a mystery. But that's strange, isn't it? Why would the victim take the murder weapon? Yeah, that weird. He no would stab himself in own stomach. It's an interesting system because it simultaneously opens us up to more games, but it also, like, if we... What if it's part of a series and it gets takes longer to get through it? Yes, John Niles, I have heard that, but that is, that is the case. <laughs> You're clearly out of your element. I already have this whole thing figured out. That ass a hero dude totally stuck himself in the gut, which makes this a suicide, baby. No, that's not possible. As we already discussed, there were signs of a struggle in that room. Oh, oh, you noticed? I was just testing you idiots, in case you'd forgotten. Oh boy. It seems that the culprit took the knife from Hero and used it to kill him. You mean, culprit could be person who not bring knife? Too bad. I guess Kaede's still suspicious. Hmm. And so are Makoto and Hajime. Unfortunate. You were thinking too hard. Isn't the first witness suspicious after all? First witness? You mean Kaede? Suspicion now falls upon you, Kaede. Do you have an explanation? Hold up! I didn't do it! Ha! Look at her shake like a fucking rabbit! Just relax. This'll all be over once we reach the climax. No matter what she says, I'm not the culprit. But how do I convince everyone? So, tell us, Kaede. You're the culprit, aren't you? I think yeah, this is set up in wrong. such a way that we get a taste of all the different mechanics. Yeah, you've got that wrong. Oh? The two leads just said their catchphrases! Finally, this is getting exciting! <laughs> I believe you, Kaede. Wow. You're absolutely not the culprit. Don't give up now, Kaede. You can't let it in here. For all our sakes, and yours too. Makoto, Hajime. Kaede, don't give up hope. Keep going and you'll be able to reach the truth. You're right. And that's what I wish for too. But how do I prove my innocence? That's... Fine. I guess my decisive testimony will help us find our culprit. <laughs> What? You know who culprit is? That means everyone not have to get punished. Then, after we hear Kokichi's statement, we can take the rest of the day off. I can finally go back to my warm, familiar bed in the dorm. <laughs> huh? You're used to it already? Kokichi, if you had information like that, why didn't you tell us sooner? Well, if I said something that important right away, that wouldn't be much fun. This guy's anyway, just a... This is our new oh, Nagato, just a troll the entire time. <laughs> huh? What are you saying? Makoto is the culprit? That's not possible. I really do want to believe it's impossible, but... Makoto has no alibi for where he was at, for where he was after we split up and only appeared after the, after the murder. 
Maybe during that time. But Makoto believes in him, so I want believes in me, so I want to believe in him too. I might be able to help Makoto if I lie. What? Did you hear that? A lie? Now I know that sounds crazy, telling a lie in a class trial, but sometimes telling a lie is necessary to reach the truth. What the heck? Oh, but don't worry, there, there are no lies in this tutorial. From here on out, there will be times in a debate you have to lie. Before you had to refute the lies, but now you have to lie yourself. Doesn't that get your heart pumping? Here's how it works. Select the truth bullet like normal non-stop debates. But when you hold uh, Y, the truth bullet will become a lie bullet with the opposite meaning. Releasing Y will shoot the lie bullet. When you use a lie bullet to uh, argue or agree with someone's statement, it will become a perjury, a statement that paints over the truth with lies. While lying, your influence gauge will drain. A successful lie will restore it. But if you miss your lie bullet, you will take damage, so be careful. You can't V-counter here, but you can pull off a V-perjury. And, so that would, and that would be awesome, so try that. Thank you, Muchly. Alright, this is new. May we hear your testimony? Probably missing Makoto. I saw Makoto leave that room by himself, I swear! By that room, Oops. you mean the crime scene, right? Makoto looked like he had just murdered someone. Before the body was found, I didn't go into that room even once. So Kokichi must be mistaken. Makoto has no alibi for where he was after we split up. and only appeared after the murder. But I want to believe in him. So I have to lie about Makoto never being May there. May we hear your testimony? I saw Makoto leave that room by himself. I swear. By that what room, the? You mean the crime scene, right? How'd I miss? Makoto looked like he had just murdered someone. Before the body was found, I didn't go into that room even once. So Kokichi must be mistaken. May we hear your testimony? Actually, before the body discovery was I saw Makoto leave that room by himself. I swear. Oh, I have to. I have to hold it down while shooting. I see. I thought I have to hold it down to prepare it and then shoot it. Well, ever since I woke up in the academy and up until I thought it was a two-step process. I was with Makoto the entire time, so Kokichi couldn't have seen him. Oh, this is the replacement for absorbing the word mechanic. Oh, okay. Hmm. Kaede, you'd rather choose a lie than the truth just to protect Makoto? Do you have any proof to show that I'm lying, Kokichi? Yes, no, I took a picture. Not at all. I lied about seeing Makoto. Why you... This chaos agent is why we have to <laughs> lie. For you to make a false statement when our lives are at risk, I am not amused. I just wanted Makoto to talk, so I simply tricked him into speaking. Why beat around the bush like that? Because it's still not clear where Makoto was before and after the incident, right? Oh, man. I totally thought Makoto would talk if we started accusing him. Responding to an obvious lie with another obvious lie? I don't know about that. Oh, yeah! After I heard the body discovery announcement, I checked out the rooms. Kai Idiot was all by herself, and Makoto wasn't even there! It's weird that they would split up after they found out a body had been discovered. I don't get why you would do that. Can you explain, Kaide? Oh, boy. You wished to protect Makoto. There is beauty in such a wish. But Kaede, your lie is far too fragile and fleeting to protect anyone. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Kaede, tell why? You didn't notice, huh? Why well, everybody else could tell. Thanks for believing in me, Kaede. 
Everyone thought my lie was too weak. I need to be more convincing if I want them to believe me. I'll remember that the next time I need to lie. Of course, I hope that time never comes. We just got dragged around by Kokichi's lies. We didn't clear Good a night, single Kennedy. thing up. Meanwhile, the remaining time is slowly but surely dwindling. Huh? There's a time limit too? Of course there is. No one wants to watch a literal non-stop debate. That shit's boring. <laughs> Hell yeah! We'd have to rip and tear into your huge guts just to make it entertaining! <laughs> Monodom's my favorite. The murder weapon, the kitchen knife. And bought the culprit in Kaede's room, where the culprit took the knife and killed Hiro. We haven't narrowed down the suspects at all. Kaede and the other two are still suspicious. That hasn't changed yet. Uh, what a pain. Kaede, just confess already. I don't need to confess just because it's a pain for you. Atua says that Kaede is the culprit. I think we should listen to him. No way I'm going to let them pin me as the culprit for that reason. But if I tell them I'm not, then they might suspect Makoto instead. Anyway, we have to discuss this even further. But what other clues are there? It can't end like this. No one wants an ending like that. So, Hajime? Leave this to me. Everyone listen up. Like we said, Kaede isn't the culprit. Do you have evidence that proves that? Also, I don't tolerate lies from anyone. But especially not from degenerate males. Got it? It's no lie. I have the evidence. Something was dropped at the scene of the crime. Right, Kirumi? I think I know what you're referring to. It was on hmm. the ground, but what about it? Hmm. There's something else. Kaede, you know what I'm talking about, right? Something off about the crime scene? Something off? That thing left on the ground, and the fact that something was off about the crime scene. Okay, I'm trying to remember what was on the ground. If we put those two things together, we'll have all the facts. Uh, is that... won't let you go any further why because this is just the demo version. oh my god <laughs> oh is this just an intermission or is it actually the end <laughs> i look forward to seeing you guys start your real ah they won't even tell you who the murderer was wow Our acting. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't too shabby. I especially liked how convincingly you wasted everyone's time. I was a little worried about the end there. Hope it was exciting enough. <laughs> Since we got through it smoothly, that's it for today. Smell you later. Good job, everyone. Good job. <laughs> See ya. Wow. Hey, wait for me. No, stay dead. Stupid. He wasn't dead. The thing that was off was that the, 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 the devs just used ketchup. Oh my gosh. Wait, it can't end yet. We forgot to tell him the most important part. Ah. Oh, that's right. This is an announcement. How nice. Load this demo save data into the full version of the game and you'll get a special reward. Yeah. Uh, what is that special reward out of curiosity? Right now. So long. The thing that carries over for the main game is 333 mana coins and an item for an optional event early one. Nothing too major. Yeah, because I prefer to have this on console, but I had to buy this on PC. Well, I had to use, get the demo on PC because I couldn't find the demo on console. It's quite odd. So, yeah, <laughs> that is the Danganronpa V3 demo. Maybe not the most uh, satisfying of endings, but it gave us an idea of what the game will play like, and it is certainly different. And it's also very fascinating to see how much of this game in particular, the uh, Project Eden's, uh, Eden's Garden, 
team took from it. Uh, fascinating to see them back to back. Um, so yeah, uh, that was fun. I, I mean, I always enjoyed Dongan Rampa, and this seems like it's gonna. It, it'll definitely be another twisty turny one. In exactly what way? Hard to say, but the cast seems pretty solid so far. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, otherwise, though, that is it for us tonight. Let's take a look at. Uh, yeah, if the demo is this elaborate. Imagine the main trials exactly, exactly. Um, so yeah, uh, as always, next Thursday will be more single session streams, uh, and next up is Fifth in Line's request for the uh, for another demo. This time with for Trails Through Daybreak. So we'll be checking that out because uh, I've never played a Trails game so far. Uh, trails game yet. Uh, favorite character so far, Luma. Um, I liked the the girls that stuck out to me that uh, as, a, as favorites, even though they didn't do much, but just general like vibes with them. Uh, the maid, the caregiver, and the uh, cosplayer. Those are, those are the three that stood out to me as far as the girls. As far as the guys, uh, astronaut has potential. The tennis star, because that is just such a weird thing, and hmm, I'll go with those two. No, none of the other ones. Uh, um, maybe, maybe Ganta. I, Ganta didn't click with me fully yet, but uh, the other, the, a lot of the other characters didn't get a lot of time to shine. Um, but yeah, next Thursday will be Trails Through Daybreak. Uh, otherwise, we'll be, we, we'll be back on Sunday for more Donga and uh, not Donga, <laughs> uh, Devil Survivor Overclocked as we uh, take on day seven in our choice of route. Monday will be more Endless Ocean Blue World, and um, uh, Wednesday will be Mega Man 3 for the Game Boy. And yeah, I like uh, rated M for me, you as our raid message as well. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's our lineup. Let's see who we can raid real quick. And um, let's see. Ah, perfect. Uh, we can actually. There's a lot of good choices. We can ra raid Massey or Josh Jepson, Jepson, who are actually playing with each other right now in Splatoon Three. Or we can raid Shut Up Sprinkles, who's playing Mario and Luigi's uh, Dream Team. It has been a long time for, since we've raided Massey, so we can do that. All right. Whoops. Oh, crap. I'm so sorry. I just ran an ad. Oh crap, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no, it's weird. It's weird. Uh, I, I accidentally, I, 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 those who are subscribed will not notice. <laughs> Click. I got it uh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. I was right next to the raid channel button. Oh God. It says 30 seconds remaining on my end, so we'll just wait on that. Um, or maybe that's until I can run the next ad. Oh jeez. Okay. That's boy, never made that mistake before. They're trying to get that revenue. Oh yeah. That that <laughs> that end of the stream revenue of running an ad by accident. Yep, that's totally on that's totally planned out. Oh god. Um sorry about that. Uh let's actually raid the channel. Rated M for me, you will raid Massey. And uh yeah, at least it was not in the middle of a key moment. Thank goodness for that. Um, so it looks like we can't... Oh, good to know, because I've always done these when I was away. You can only run ads every seven minutes at most. So, there's that. Anyway, let's go ahead and raid Rasay. Rated, rated M for me, you. And uh, we'll call it there. So thank you all so much for being here. Really do appreciate it. Hope to see you next week for our next single session stream of the Trails Through Daybreak demo. Uh, otherwise, hope to see you next time for more uh, Devil Survivor Overclocked. So until then, everyone, bye.